What's up everyone, I'm Matt Jones, I'm a professional freestyle mountain biker and what that means is I build and ride places like this to do tricks up in the air on a mountain bike. So this is my private and personal compound that I've built over the years to learn tricks, develop my skills and compete on the international world tour. In recent years, Silverline Tools have come on board to help me take this place to the next level. I've built brand new features, a whole roll in, a new airbag and today I'm going to be walking you around, giving you a bit of a tour of this place and what it's all about and why it's here. So the main part of my compound is this slope style course which is behind me and that all starts here on this flat drop. We're about 30 feet in the air and this is a big scaffold structure I built myself. It works, it's a bit wobbly, but this is in order to generate speed for those massive jumps. But you can still trick this. I've done 360s on it, flat drop back flips and they're all slope style tricks that you would typically see in international slope style courses. So this was a must have at my compound and I'm stoked I've got one to practice on. But that leads into that first massive kicker jump, which we'll go and look at now. Once you're off of the big flat drop, you land onto this landing where we use carpet to protect the sand and stop it breaking up. Then you can imagine you've got loads of speed, which is why I've got this huge kicker ramp here, which is eight foot tall. It's not super steep because we prefer slacker ramps for 360, so this is my ramp for doing spins and a steeper ramp you'd do more backflips, double backflips on. So it's 8 foot tall, it's got a 15 foot radius, which we can talk about what that means later. But ultimately its design is just to boot you up in the air so you can spend as much time in the air as possible to do as big tricks as possible. That's what my sport's all about, going high, difficult tricks and landing smoothly. And that's why we've got a massive landing here. This first big landing took three days to construct with a big machine. It's all made of kind of mud, clay, bricks. And then we buy sand in, soft sand, like you'd mix, mix with cement, to just put on top a few inches and that's a lot softer to land on because it's important riding here to kind of be able to crash safely. I mean, this is my training compound. I don't want to get hurt every time I crash. You kind of need to be able to crash semi-safely. But this landing is huge. You don't know where you're going to land always. You can't be too precise, which is why it's so wide. But again, a nice steep landing allows you to generate more speed for two options up ahead. A kicker ramp like we've just seen, but this is the more interesting feature. We call that a boner log and it appears in big slope style courses around the world. It's a bit of an obscure feature. It looks like you're going to take off and just never come down. But there is a landing there hidden somewhere behind those stinging nettles ironically after talking about this place being safe. Um, I built that specifically to learn two tricks, a backflip no-hander and a 360 bar spin for two competitions I had coming up. So the great thing about having my own compound is I can kind of last minute build a feature that I know is coming up in a future contest and that's what I did there. It doesn't get a lot of love, it doesn't get a lot of use but having it is a big asset to this place and if I don't want to ride that I've got another kicker jump which this one, I spoke about earlier having a slacker kicker for 360s. This is the steep one for backflips. If I'm going to do a backflip or a double backflip, it's going to happen here. And for this one, I've got a wood chip landing, which we'll look at. That's a lot softer than sand. So if you're going to come here and send it and try and learn a new trick, it's going to happen here on this ramp. So we'll look at the landing. Wood chip doesn't look as good as the sand clean landings. Really, this is the jump where you crash your brains out. I use wood chip as a solution of crashing. Like There's no other reason that this is here other than big crashes because I've found it to be the softest material kind of out there that you can keep topping up and rake around that's soft-ish but you can still ride out on a bike. And then we ran out of space. When building this place I didn't realise that that jump was going to be that big and I got to this these big conifer trees and ran out of space so this was the best solution, a 15 foot vert wall where you can ride up, turn around without crashing into the trees. So if I used a tape measure a bit earlier on, we could have sussed it out. But actually, this is a really cool feature. You can ride all the way up to the top, turn back on yourself. You don't really do many tricks on this jump, but it's quite fun. It's quite a cool way of changing direction and it looks the business. So that's kind of a bit of a bonus feature, but that feeds you back up the hill for one last final feature, which is a quarter pipe.
This is the final feature of my slopestyle course. It's called a quarter pipe, and I only air to the right. That's just the way I ride, so you only need mulch on one side. And tricks like flares, which is a backflip with a 180 spin in it, tail whips, bar spins. There's a lot of tricks to be done on this sort of jump, but it's super important because quarter pipes appear in almost all slopestyle courses, and it's a good one to finish on because you kind of lose all your speed in this mulch now. It's so soft, it's so effective for crashing. And that's it, so I've got a drop, two big kicker jumps, the vert wall and a quarter pipe, and that kind of rounds off my slopestyle course, and you ride it all at once, the whole sequence. It's so good for practicing, so good for training, because it's all very well being able to do one trick on a big jump, but you have to do them back to back in slopestyle. That's all part of the game. So I'm so lucky to have this place, and there's actually more here. I've just got an airbag, which we'll look at. The final most recent addition to the whole compound has been this massive airbag landing, which the motivation for that was learning brand new tricks that I've never even tried because you can pretty much land on your head on this thing and be fine. It's a great big soft bouncy castle designed for crashing, which I keep talking about crashing, but this whole pro mountain bike thing, if you're going to ever break new ground and learn new tricks, you have to crash. There's, there's no other way around it. So an airbag has been the secret for me. And this is it, fully inflated with a nine foot ramp to feed you pretty high into the air using that massive roll-in which I built especially for this airbag. So this is a standalone roll-in, take-off, soft landing. You just session it back, to, back and forth, back and forth, repeating tricks, crashing, landing, learning stuff. It's the perfect like, final piece of the puzzle for this whole compound. So I've basically got all the tools needed now to get better, improve and try and become world champion I guess. Yeah, the airbag's epic. So that's been a tour of my Slopestyle mountain bike compound. If you head over to the Silverline Tools YouTube channel, you'll find a video of me showing you how to build a mountain bike kicker ramp. A little jump where you can get off the floor, learn your tricks, start practicing jumping. It's a really cool tutorial. That's been my compound. I'm Matt Jones. See you soon.